Silva Ultramind's Intuitive Guidance System for Business by Jose Silva, Jr. and Catherine Watson with Ed Burned, Jr. Narrated by Sean Pratt This program contains mental exercises that require your eyes to be closed for complete relaxation. Do not listen to this program while driving, operating equipment, or performing any other activity that requires the use of your eyesight. Forward by Chris Downs Statistically, I had no hope of achieving anything. Yet, I have had a very successful life. I had a very successful 30-year career in the British police service. I've had a long and loving marriage and family life, too. How did that happen to a person who was born into a poor community in the north of England 69 years ago, whose father died when he was three, and who left school at age 15 with no qualifications? How did I become a senior officer in the British police service? How did I achieve a master's degree in education? How did I become an accredited training evaluator in the government department responsible for policing in Great Britain? You're about to hear the answer to these and many other questions. I was one of the naturals, one of the 10% of humanity who somehow grew up retaining the ability to use effective sensory projection, ESP, naturally. This is not just another audiobook to listen to. I consider this the most advanced training program for anyone who wants to be the best in their chosen field. It will show you exactly how to develop the ability that only one person in ten develops naturally, which is the ability to detect information with your mind, to make better decisions, and to attract good luck and beneficial coincidences. My life has been full of what I thought were coincidences. I had a wonderful 30 years in law enforcement. I was very successful. And I now realize I was definitely guided. I always seemed to be in the right place at the right time. I was always a very good interviewer. I knew exactly what questions to ask. They just came to mind as though the person I was interviewing were telling me what to ask. I have lots of stories, funny and sad, I could share with you. Just last year, another coincidence guided me to the work of Jose Silva and his Ultramind ESP system, and I could see why my life turned out so well. More importantly, I realized that everyone who learns this simple system can have just as great a life and even better. Without any formal education, Jose Silva built a multi-million dollar business. Then, he had great success as a scientific researcher. He also became a superb educator who seemed to know instinctively the right things to do. The preconditioning modules in the Silva Ultramind ESP system are a brilliant method of leading the learner into the exercises. In training evaluation terms, they are the lesson plan for achieving the objectives of the learning, but are expressed in a dynamic method to match the whole ethos of the course. I'm really impressed. The idea surely must have come from a higher source. If you're listening to this, I am sure that you too have been guided to it. Ask yourself, why did I choose this specific book of all the books available? When you follow the training process, and most importantly, the key underlying principles, be ready for an amazing journey to the top. Chris Downs, M.E.D., was a training evaluator and senior officer for the British Police Service from 1971 to 2001. Preface The Life of Jose Silva Jose Silva's life is more than a great American success story. It has transcended time and space to become one of the world's all-time great success stories. Jose Silva was born in Laredo, Texas in 1914. When he was just four years old, his father died as the result of a terrorist act during the Mexican Revolution. He started his first business at the age of six, when he began working and earning an income to help support the family, which included his sister and two younger brothers. Since his income was necessary for the family, Jose never had the opportunity to attend school. With the help of his sister and brothers, he learned to read and write in both the Spanish and the English languages. 
He recalled that he was always very lucky at finding new business ventures that would help more people and earn him more money. He cleaned offices, ran errands, and eventually began traveling 150 miles to San Antonio to buy household goods that he then sold door-to-door -door in Laredo. By the time he was a teenager, he was employing other youngsters to go door-to-door -door and sell the merchandise. Many of the youngsters were earning more than their fathers, and young Jose was earning more than all of them. That's how he had enough money to pay for a correspondence course in radio repair in 1928, when he was 14 years old. The timing was perfect. He got in on the ground floor of that new field, and that's how he earned his millions when he grew his electronics repair business to be one of the largest in South Texas. He still had his knack for spotting new business opportunities. He recalled one time when he pointed out a vacant lot to his wife Paula and said it would be a great spot for an ice cream stand. He didn't act on that impulse because he had other interests, but a few months later, somebody opened an ice cream shop there. Jose used his knowledge of electronics repair to start a new business repairing coin-operated music machines, jukeboxes, and leasing them to establishments throughout South Texas. In 1944, Jose was drafted into the Army to serve during World War II. Not knowing whether he would survive the war, he closed his business and set the money aside for his family. It was during the Army induction process that Jose had his first encounter with a psychiatrist. This led him to the study of psychology. He dived into the study of psychology with the same enthusiasm he always had because he wanted to see if he could learn ways to help his children to be as successful as he was. He observed that only a few people had the kind of instincts and good luck that he had. After his discharge from the Army at the end of the war, Jose returned to Laredo and started his radio repair business all over again. This was an exciting and busy time for him. He was assigned to build a radio technician's training department at Laredo Junior College and ran the department for more than six years. The department was named the best in the state of Texas by the Veterans Administration. This was quite an achievement for someone who had never attended school as a student. When commercial television came on the scene, Jose began to learn all about it, and his business continued to grow rapidly. His study of psychology had led him to several related fields, including hypnosis, parapsychology, and electroencephalography, leading to psychorientology, a new science of how to orient or direct your mind, that is your psyche, for greater success. After six years, he was so busy with his business and his research that he had to resign his position at the college. By 1966, the research had progressed so far that Silva was in demand to speak at colleges and universities about his work in psychorientology, and people throughout Texas were asking him to teach them his mind development techniques. He had learned that the most successful people used their minds differently than the average person. Other people might work just as hard and have just as much knowledge, but if they didn't do their thinking at the alpha brainwave level, then they weren't as successful as the 10% of people who did their thinking at that level. The results of the research were tested at the University of Texas Medical Center and at Trinity University, both located in San Antonio. He showed the researchers that his students could do what scientists believed was impossible, activate the mind and function deductively while at the alpha brainwave level. The results were so impressive that they were published in a scientific journal in England in 1972. The scientists wanted to conduct more research with Mr. Silva, but school officials killed that idea when they learned that he didn't have any... He always had great respect for education and wished he had been able to attend school, but someone once pointed out to him that, every year, a lot of students parade across the stage and accept the PhDs they received for what they had learned, but only a few people receive an honorary doctorate for what they have actually accomplished. He had the kind of education and experiences that no other scientist had. His study of psychology taught him about human behavior. His experiences with hypnosis showed him what the human mind is capable of doing. The electroencephalograph, the EEG, gave him the ability to see what was going on inside a person's head and relate brain activity to mental function. In addition, he was a classically trained singer. His knowledge of music, frequencies, and harmonics revealed to him that scientists 
needed to rethink the way they had been classifying the brain frequency spectrum. Through the years, he met many ultra-successful people. One of them was W. Clement Stone, author, with Napoleon Hill, of Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. It was more than just positive thoughts and mental images that enabled Stone to earn millions of dollars in the insurance business. I could tell that Mr. Stone was also a natural alpha thinker, just like I am, Mr. Silva explained. Positive thoughts and mental images of what you want to achieve have a small effect when you are functioning at the beta brainwave level, but they have a very big impact when you are able to do your thinking at the alpha level. Only one person in ten learns naturally how to do their thinking at ten cycles per second, or CPS, which is the alpha brain frequency. The good news is that Jose Silva developed a system to help everyone learn to function at 10 CPS, just as the top 10% do. He began teaching his system to the public in 1966, after spending half a million dollars of his own money to conduct 22 years of scientific research. In 1969, the demand for his services was so great that he began training other people to teach his system. To date, millions of people in more than 100 countries around the world have benefited from his research. He always offered a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee of satisfaction, and fewer than 1% ask for a refund. The boy who was taught how to read and write by his siblings became a successful and sought-after author himself, authoring more than a dozen books. The first, titled The Silva Mind Control Method, published in English by Simon & Schuster, and eventually in more than a dozen other languages, has sold well over a million copies worldwide and is still going strong 40 years after its first publication, making Jose Silva Laredo's most successful author. The young boy who used to shine shoes for a living is the undisputed leader in the field of mind development in ESP. His system is the first to guide you to function at the alpha brainwave level, to use the right brain hemisphere to think with, and to develop and use intuition through ESP. Mr. Silva's philosophy has always been to gain while helping others to gain, not to gain at others' loss. This master of teaching people about success also cautions people to keep things in perspective, saying, do not let the first failure destroy you, nor let success ruin you. With the worldwide success of his system, Mr. Silva is known by more people around the world than anyone else who ever walked the streets of Laredo. He did not let success ruin him. He lived modestly, and his favorite pastime right up until his passing in 1999 was lecturing and helping other people awaken the genius that is within them. This young boy, who started helping people one shoe at a time, went on to help millions, not just to look better on the outside, but to actually be better on the inside. Prior to his passing, he developed a new course, the Silva Ultramind ESP System. It is more than a course. It is a system. In addition to helping people develop and use their own God-given intuition, the Ultramind ESP system includes a new scientifically-based technique to communicate with higher intelligence regularly and reliably. This will enable you to obtain help and guidance in carrying out your mission in life. While Mr. Silva may have moved on to new assignments, his work is still going strong, both in live seminars and in convenient home study courses. Jose Silva is a glowing example of what people can achieve by using their natural, God-given intuition to make the right decisions and by concentrating on providing value to others, so that when they move on, they will have left behind a better world for those who follow. Introduction. What this book is about. Business people at all levels, from solo workers and entrepreneurs to department heads and top executives, require many skills. Perhaps the most important is the ability to make good decisions in all aspects of creating and managing a profitable business. Good decisions lead to company profits and career advancement. The ability to sense people's inner thoughts and needs 
helps you say and do the right things to build a strong team that will quickly reach its goals and achieve great success. Your intuition provides you with an additional source of information so that you will do the right thing at the right time and be ready when opportunities present themselves. The good news is that now, thanks to the 22 years of scientific research by Jose Silva, we can help you succeed by teaching you how to use your natural, God-given intuition regularly and reliably so that you will be right more times than wrong. Knowing the future helps you prepare for it. When you know what the future holds, you will be prepared to deal with problems and take advantages of opportunities. The benefits of this are obvious, but can it really be done? Professor John Mihalaski, Professor Emeritus of Industrial Engineering at the Newark College of Engineering, now the New Jersey Institute of Technology, conducted 10 years of scientific research to find out. In experiments he performed with company CEOs, he observed that the CEOs who performed best in tests of precognitive ability also tended to be the ones with the best success rates at running their business, measured in terms of five-year profitability growth. Professor Mihalaski's experiment results are summarized this way. The CEOs with the greatest profitability increases of 100% or more also had the greatest number of correct guesses in intuition tests. 81.5% of them performed above chance results. On the other end, none of the CEOs with the poorest results scored above chance in the precognition test. Of CEOs with mediocre numbers, the results were consistent with statistical chance results. Professor Mihalaski will tell you even more about what he learned in this project in Appendix A. Even better, in this book we will guide you step by step to develop the ability to function the way the most successful executives do. Successful people attract good luck. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to make the correct decisions far more frequently than the average person? It's because they use more of their mind and use it in a special manner. That is what you will learn to do in this book. Early Adopters Reap the Benefits Now is the perfect time for you to learn this new technology of the mind. With all new technology, the early adopters reap immediate benefits and gain big advantages before the establishment catches on and catches up. It happened with the printing press, which made mass communications over great distances possible. People living in the American colonies exchanged information in booklets and newspapers and joined to create a new country. It happened again with commercial television, when huge numbers of people could influence and be influenced by events and brought down a U.S. president and ended the Vietnam War. Testimonials and case studies. No matter what your age or where in the world you live, or how far along you are in your career, or whether you've had good fortune or bad, you can use your own natural, God-given intuition to help you in your business and personal life. In Chapter 1, business owner Klemen Mihalic in Slovenia explains how he used the Silva Ultramind techniques to help his family, his friends, and his business. He even came up with a solution to end the rape of women in refugee camps in Darfur, in the Sudan, that won praise from the humanitarian aid coordinator there. A young man from Maryland, fresh out of college, used the Silva techniques to solve a difficult problem, and this one success helped get him out of a job that wasn't right for him and into the right career. You'll meet him in Chapter 2. A California lady named Mona struggled for 23 years selling real estate with modest success. Soon after she started applying the techniques she learned in the Silva Ultramind ESP systems, she doubled her results and quadrupled her confidence. She will tell you about it in Chapter 5. A retired executive who spent most of his career in the public sector in the United Kingdom discovered that it is much easier to make big-ticket spending decisions when you have reliable ESP in your toolkit. He explains what he did in Chapter 6. A lady in Bulgaria tells how she used subjective communication to get what she was rightfully entitled to, despite the attempts of some unscrupulous people who tried to swindle her. You will learn what she did in Chapter 9. Entrepreneur Victor Covens, who owns his own one-man travel agency, recounts how he obtained worldwide publicity and recognition as tops in his field for his business without hiring publicity agents or a public relations agency. You will meet him in Chapter 11. 
Ed Burned Jr. will tell you, also in Chapter 11, about negotiating his first published agreement with Jose Silva and how the words that he actually said to Mr. Silva were far superior than the words he had intended to say. How to Develop Your Intuitive Powers Now, thanks to the groundbreaking research by Mr. Silva, learning to use your own natural intuition is as easy as one, two, three. One, learn to function at the powerful alpha brainwave level with a relaxing, refreshing Silva centering exercise. Two, unlock 100% of your intuitive powers with five simple mental projection drills. And three, use your powers in ways that benefit both you and your customers. Now, for the first time, we are going to open the vaults, go behind the scenes, and show you the science of how and why Jose Silva's world-famous mind training systems work. Better still, you will learn exactly how and when to apply this science in your own life and gain benefits you never imagined possible. Would you like to learn how to... Would you like to learn how to do the following... Program yourself to do the right thing at the right time to take advantage of opportunities and increase profits and income. Accurately forecast business trends to keep you ahead of the competition. Use your intuition to help sense what other people's real wants and needs are. Say the right thing at the right time when negotiating, managing subordinates, or reporting to superiors and shareholders. Learn mental techniques to establish immediate rapport with coworkers as well as with customers, clients, suppliers, and other people you deal with. As long as you are being honest, you can create an instant connection with people so they know they can believe you and trust you. Would you like to learn how to use feedback in the physical world so that you know exactly what to do to achieve the success you desire? Determine if the time is right to make a career move. Detect industry trends before they become public. Become aware of potential problems before they hurt you. Program people who owe you money or who are trying to cheat you so that they develop a strong urge to do the right thing and pay you what they owe you. Program your work environment for success. Influence others from a distance, even when you cannot be with them in person. Mentally sense the right thing to say and do in order to produce the best outcome for your clients and your business. Detect hidden information that will give you a competitive advantage by enabling you to serve your clients better. Trust your judgment and your decisions and doubt and second-guessing by asking higher intelligence to confirm or correct your decisions. Know when to seek a raise, a promotion, a better job. Intuitively sense the true motivations and feelings of others and avoid the pain of being betrayed and disappointed. And finally, would you like to learn how to let higher intelligence guide you to your right path in life for greater success, happiness, and satisfaction? Find your right work and your mission in life? What you must do to succeed. When you follow the simple step-by-step -step guidance in this book, you will find the powerful alpha brainwave level. You will also learn to activate your mind while remaining at Alpha in order to make better decisions and solve more problems. Just a few hours of relaxing and refreshing practice with Jose Silva's world-famous centering exercise is all it takes. Then, relax at the Alpha level and go through each of the five mental projection exercises to become familiar with the subjective or mental dimension. You'll establish points of reference that you can use to solve problems, and achieve positive outcomes that bring you success and satisfaction by improving living conditions on planet Earth. After that, you need to continue to use your learned techniques. Just a few minutes a day will keep you mentally sharp so that you will be a superior problem solver. A word of caution. If you plan to use these abilities to take advantage of people, to gain benefits for yourself at their loss, then save your time and look elsewhere. Karma really works. The Creator does not favor one person over another and will not help you if you want to gain at someone else's loss. If you want to gain while helping the other person also gain, then these techniques will work for you. 
and higher intelligence will help you when you get stuck and need guidance and help. Practical techniques you can start using today. 1. Your career. Do you want a better job? A raise? Something more meaningful, interesting, and satisfying to do? How about having your own business? More customers? Bigger sales? Better employees? Better working conditions? 2. Smart buying. Use remote viewing to find the best product or service, the best vendor to establish a relationship with. Then, use remote influencing to help establish a relationship that will be mutually beneficial for years to come. 3. Effective selling. Would it help you to be able to mentally detect what your prospect's real wants and needs are? To read their thoughts, so to speak? Would it help you to be able to put a thought into your prospect's mind? You can use remote viewing and remote influencing to reach them at a deep inner level, where they know you are telling them the truth, that what you are offering them really is in their best interest. Neutralizing negativity in your prospect's mind. Neutralize negative generators who are trying to sabotage the sale for their own selfish reasons. And four, taking action. You can learn to use remote viewing to see what a person wants, and then use remote influencing to motivate them to go ahead and take action, to do what is right, to close the sale, to sign the agreement, to provide the information they've promised you, to pay a debt they owe you. Earn your master's in business intuition. People spend a lot of money and a lot of time in class to earn an MBA, a master's degree in business administration. Just as valuable, perhaps even more, is an MBI, a master of business intuition. The Silva Ultramind ESP system is like getting a degree in how to use intuition to detect information and solve problems. In the first chapter of this book, you will start learning how to use more of your mind and to use it in a special manner. Claim your rewards. All forms of success, bonuses and raises and promotions and recognition and honors, come to those who are prepared and take action at the right moment in time. In just a few weeks, you can equip yourself with the same skills and talents as the ultra-successful people in all walks of life so that you can achieve the success that you have always known, deep within, that you are meant to have. When you're ready to begin, just listen to Chapter 1 and follow the simple instructions. To contact us for help and support, please write down the contact information we'll share in Appendix B. Meet the Authors Jose Silva, Jr. was the first of Jose and Paula Silva's ten children. He was there when his father began the scientific research that unlocked the secret of developing intuition and using it regularly and reliably in all aspects of your life. Nobody is more qualified than Joe Jr. to teach you how to apply his father's research findings to your business career. Joe was not a research subject. Joe documented the research, recording the sessions with an old Robert's reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and finding the data that his father was acquiring. While his younger sisters and brothers were sitting with their eyes closed, following their father's instructions, Joe was learning the best ways of helping the average person to develop mental powers that few people have. When Mr. Silva realized that he needed to establish a business to propagate his findings, he called on Joe to help manage the new business, something Joe continues to do today. Twenty-five years later, when Mr. Silva started the new Silva Ultramind Systems business at the age of 84, he put Joe in charge. Catherine Watson came to work for Jose Silva in 1990, shortly after graduating from high school. She learned the business and how to use the Silva techniques in business from the ground up. She started by taking orders, working in the mailroom, and running the shipping department. After a few years, she moved to Austin, Texas, and went to work in the state government bureaucracy. While working for the state, she started her own silver business, Avlis Productions, Inc., and soon grew it into a full-time company with representatives in many countries around the world. By the way, if you are wondering where the name Avlis came from, just spell it backwards. In addition to managing the business, she is also a full-time mother to her young daughter, Lily. 
Ed Burned Jr. is another member of the Silva team. Ed grew up in the newspaper business. His motto was, don't believe anything that you hear and only half of what you see. To say that he was cynical about the reality of ESP would be an understatement. When I actually experienced it for myself and could produce ESP repeatedly, then I couldn't deny it anymore, he admitted. When I realized how valuable this ability is for individuals and how much better life would be on this planet if everybody could use their intuition to get whatever they need without taking from anybody else, without hurting anyone, then I had to get involved. When we reach that point, there will be no more need for crime, no more wars, and life will be good for everyone. In 1977, Ed attended Silva instructor training to learn more, then began teaching the course. In 1981, he was offered a job at Jose Silva's Laredo headquarters. I couldn't pass up an opportunity like that, he said, and I have been here ever since. Ed recalls, Joe was among the first to welcome me. Around here, he told me, we don't think of you as an employee. We treat you like family. Part 1. How to Use More of Your Brain and Mind the way ultra-successful people do. Chapter 1. A New Way of Living Welcome to the beginning of the second phase of human evolution on the planet. Humans are beginning to use their minds in ways never imagined before. In our highly connected world of mobile devices and social media and rapid change, it's essential that you not only keep up, but that you stay a step ahead of the competition. If you are the first to know what is being planned before the plans are put into action, then you can be prepared for it. You will be able to stop bad things from happening and make good things happen. Just as the personal computer, the internet, social media, and the smartphone have revolutionized the way we communicate physically, you are now going to learn to use your mind to communicate subjectively. This will take you to places that you could never go before and will allow you to communicate in ways that go beyond the wildest fantasies of science fiction. This is now a reality, thanks to a scientific breakthrough that solved a mystery, which was, what gives the ultra-successful people the ability to see what ordinary people don't see, and do what ordinary people don't do? There are no limits to this new means of communication. Your mind is not physical, so physical barriers cannot stop it. If somebody is plotting against you, nothing can stop your mind from detecting it. All it takes to access this new, unlimited means of communications is a computer that you already own. It is the most powerful computer in the world, a portable computer that you carry around in your head, your own brain. Learning how to use this communication system is as easy as learning how to use a smartphone. Navigate to the application you need, then learn how to work with it. In this book, you will learn how to use your mind to detect information and solve problems. You already know how to use your physical senses, such as eyesight and hearing, to detect information, and how to use your physical body to correct problems. But 90% of us grew up without knowing how to use the mind that way. Back in 1944, Jose Silva wanted to know more about how the brain and mind worked, so that he could help his children do better in school and be more successful in life. The research that he conducted over the next 22 years led to what has been called the greatest breakthrough of all time in the field of mind science. How Your Brain Works Your brain operates on a small amount of electricity, just like a computer. It can process and store information, retrieve that information, and use it to make decisions and solve problems. The electrical energy of your brain pulsates or vibrates at various frequencies. Each frequency is associated with a specific part of your brain that is designed for a specific task. They are 1. Beta. More than 14 CPS, typically 20, occurs when your body and mind are active and you focus your eyes. 2. Alpha. 7 to 14 CPS, is associated with light sleep and dreaming. 3. Theta, 
from 4 to 7 CPS, is associated with deeper sleep and with the use of hypnosis for such things as painless surgery. And finally, 4, delta, below 4 CPS, is associated with deepest sleep. Jose Silva's professional background was in electronics, and this gave him insights that other researchers didn't have. First, he reasoned that the best range to use for mental activity would be the range that has the least impedance and the most energy. Of the four frequencies, the alpha frequency has the strongest current and is the most rhythmic. And that's why it was the first to be discovered by scientists in the 1920s using a sensing device called the electroencephalograph, or EEG, which measures electrical energy in the brain. The scientists named this frequency alpha after the first letter in the Greek alphabet. If it was actually possible to actively use one's mind to analyze problems and come up with solutions while in the alpha state, it seemed logical to Jose Silva that this state would be the ideal one in which to think. Why would the alpha level be ideal? Three reasons. One, it would allow one to think more clearly because of its extra energy. Two, it would enable one to maintain concentration better. And three, alpha is in the absolute center of the brain's normal operating range, so it would allow access to more information more easily. But there was a catch. Research revealed that most people do their thinking at the beta frequency. Jose's research led him to discover that only 10% of the population are natural alpha thinkers. It turned out that he himself was one of them. Most people, approximately 90%, are only able to use the weakest, least stable frequency to do their thinking, the beta level. Most people, when their brain frequency slows to alpha, enter the subconscious state, then fall asleep. But the superstars stay awake at the alpha level and do their thinking at alpha. These natural alpha thinkers have learned to use their intuition, to trust their hunches, and this guides them to far greater success than the average person. The good news is that you have the same kind of biocomputer that they have. All that you need is instruction on how to access the alpha level, and then activate your subjective communication faculty with a few simple exercises to provide points of reference and orientate you. Jose Silva had studied psychology and hypnosis while seeking ways to help his children. Once he obtained an EEG and actually saw how the brain functioned, he was able to combine his knowledge of all of those topics to develop a system that everybody can use to learn to function the way ultra-successful people do. In this book, we will guide you step-by-step step to activate and begin using your natural, God-given intuition like ultra-successful people. People like Klemen Mihalic, who owns a pre-press business in Slovenia prospering during a worldwide recession. Do you remember the financial meltdown in late 2008 that led to a worldwide recession? Klemen Mihalic, who was just learning the Silva Ultramind ESP system, used his intuition so effectively that his business grew 90% in 2009 and has continued to grow ever since. Klemen had taken the old Silva mind control course that was first introduced in the 1960s, it included many problem-solving techniques to help people overcome insomnia, relieve tension and migraine headaches, improve memory and concentration, stop smoking and overeating, and more. Those techniques were included in order to attract people to the class so that they would then have an opportunity to learn the most valuable skill of all, developing and learning to use their own natural psychic abilities. But there wasn't enough time left at the end of the course to teach people all the ways that ESP could help them in their business and personal lives. So, most people thought the course was about the problem-solving formulas. The course accomplished its main goal. Millions of people in more than 100 countries around the world learned for themselves that ESP is real. Once people accepted the reality of ESP, Jose Silva created the course he had always wanted to teach, the Silva Ultramind ESP System. Clement contacted us shortly after we launched the Silva Ultramind ESP system and wanted to teach the course in Slovenia, where he lives. 
He'd had a lot of success with self-programming and with using the alpha brainwave level to analyze business problems and select the best solution. He wanted to teach those techniques, but he told us that he didn't think the people of Slovenia were ready for an ESP course. We disagreed and explained some of the many ways that he could use ESP to help himself and his family in ways that went far beyond just relieving headaches and improving memory. He liked what he heard, so he agreed to give it a try and see what kind of results he got. One of his first successes with the new techniques involved a problem he encountered about the construction of a new house. He used some alpha thinking and intuition to solve the problem. We had problems with our seller investor who did not build the house as we both agreed at the beginning, Clement explained. There were too many mistakes. First, he tried to correct the problem on his own by entering his level and picturing all of the mistakes corrected and the seller giving him some money to compensate him for the deficiencies. As I look back now, he said, I realized that I really wanted too much money. So I went to level and told the seller mentally about mistakes and delays. And at my level, he told me a few things that I had not considered. That is why I lowered my requests to him. At my level, we both agreed with some corrections on the building, and we also agreed to a discount of $15,500. What happened next when I met the guy was amazing. He offered to correct exactly what I had programmed to be corrected, and he also offered me a discount of exactly $15,500. I was speechless. Mental video solves two problems at once. Following that, Clemen had a series of big successes with the help of the new mental video technique, which you will learn in Chapter 6. He was working on several unrelated problems. He was expanding the building that housed his pre-press business and needed somebody to oversee the construction work. He was also trying to help a friend who had left a good job and taken another one that turned out to be a disaster. When my friend told me his sad story, I started asking other friends for help. My beta plan was to find him some other job as soon as possible. When Clement was unable to come up with this, when the construction was completed, they began installation of a new state-of-the-art flexo-plate-making machine that they had ordered from Eastman Kodak Company. Nobody else in the area had this kind of capability, and they even had clients lined up from several neighboring countries. We fully started the production of Flexo plates, he said. We have bought very expensive new software to improve our quality. Kodak engineers were shocked when they saw our progress. We might be the first repro studio in the world with that kind of technology and knowledge, combined with the special software for Flexo press. Actually, they were now learning from us, Clement continued, and making notes. There is always some Kodak master from Belgium. Great Britain, Israel, or other countries who want to come and see our progress. Strange. We are only a couple of Slovene enthusiasts doing great work. Then came the financial meltdown in October 2008 and the worldwide recession the following year. While most businesses suffered and many shut down, Clemen used his new communications tools, ESP and the mental video, to find opportunities where he and his customers would both benefit. We had enough customers, Clemens said, but because of the financial crisis, payments were being delayed more and more because my customers were having trouble collecting money from their customers. So he took it to the next level and began finding ways to use ESP and help from higher intelligence to help his customers' customers. The result was a 90% growth in revenue in 2009 at the height of the recession an inexpensive solution to a big problem. Clement had always worked to help people in need in Slovenia. What good is having money and the knowledge of how to get things done if you don't do some good with it? Clement asked. Doing good is good business. The satisfaction that you get when you help somebody lets you know that you are a success. Then, in the fall of 2009, something else caught his attention. The refugee crisis in Darfur in the western Sudan. He was especially troubled when he learned that women were being raped every night in the refugee camps because there were not enough people to police the area and protect them. 
He used the mental video to ask for a solution, and the next day he found it on the internet. Small, inexpensive, motion-activated, solar, chapter 2. How to function like a genius. In this chapter, you will learn to do something that only 10% of adults know how to do. Use the most powerful part of your brain to think, analyze information, and create solutions to life's toughest problems. In addition to being the most powerful part of the brain, where there is the least impedance to the flow of electrical energy and therefore of thoughts, it is also the area that some psychologists have labeled the subconscious. You are now going to learn how to use the subconscious consciously. How Jose Silva Discovered the Alpha Level Jose Silva's field was electronics. So when he learned about a machine called the EEG, which could actually measure the electrical energy coming from the brain, he bought one. He might have been the only person in the world who was an expert in both hypnosis and electronics. This gave him the insight and ability to investigate what was happening to the brain physically while it was engaged in various mental activities and to understand what was going on. He had also studied psychology, which gave him insight into human behavior. His study of music contributed, too, by helping him to understand frequencies and harmonics. It enabled him to comprehend the relationships of the various frequencies that come from different parts of the brain. Mr. Silva used to bring people into his laboratory, connect them to the EEG, and ask them questions. Most of the time, the people's brain frequency would remain at 20 cycles per second, beta, the whole time. But in some people, about 1 in 10, their brain frequency would lower to 10 cycles, alpha, while they thought about the question, and would then come back to 20 cycles, beta, when they answered him. He noticed that these people were more successful, healthier, and luckier than the 90% who remained at beta when they did their thinking. This made sense to him from an electronics point of view. If the alpha level is the stronger, he reasoned, it means it has the least impedance to the flow of electrical current. It is the most efficient circuit in the brain. At alpha, there are the fewest impediments to clear thinking. Therefore, it's the ideal frequency to use for thinking. Subsequent research bore out this hypothesis. He would bring children into the laboratory, it is very easy to take children to the alpha level, and he would ask them questions. He might ask them how many ways they could think of to clean a car, for instance. They would tell him everything they could think of, wash it, vacuum it out, etc. Then he would take them to alpha and ask them again, and they would come up with additional ideas. Polish the hubcaps, clean the windows and the windshield wipers, and so on. These findings indicated that there is more information available to us at Alpha than there is at Beta. This could partially explain why the 10% of humanity who are Alpha thinkers are more successful than those who do their thinking at Beta. All of the ultra-successful people are natural Alpha thinkers. They have learned, through some natural means, to do their thinking at Alpha. But they don't realize that they think differently than 90% of humanity. When they write their books telling people how to achieve great success, only 10% of their readers can use those techniques successfully because they're the only ones who do their thinking at the alpha level. That's why those authors can always point to a few people who use their techniques successfully, while most of their readers get little benefit. Many self-improvement courses work the same way. The natural alpha thinkers are trying to teach their techniques to people who are unable to do their thinking at the alpha level. All of our techniques are designed to function at the alpha level. That's why it's so important to practice the Silva centering exercise, the long relaxation exercise, from time to time to maintain a good, deep alpha level. We will guide you through the Silva centering exercise in just a few minutes. Mr. Silva said this was his most important discovery, a way to use the subconscious consciously, thus converting it to an inner conscious level. There are many benefits from being able to do this. Benefits of Alpha Thinking Just like the alpha brainwave frequency, the alpha part of the brain is centrally located, and therefore it is closer to the information that has been impressed and stored on your brain neurons. When your mind is functioning at the alpha brainwave level, it has access to more information. It can process more information, and process it faster, and 
it can find solutions faster than is possible at the beta level. This makes alpha the ideal level for analysis and complex decision-making. The beta level is for action. If you've been having trouble making good decisions, now you know why. You have been doing it at beta, the weakest, least stable, least synchronous part of the brain. Alpha also gives you access to subjective mental information. You can detect information with your mind, your psyche, that is not available to your physical senses. This access to psychic information gives natural alpha thinkers a big advantage over ordinary people. Imagine using a part of your brain and mind that you have probably never used consciously in order to obtain information from other people's brains and to use their information and their experiences as if they were your own. Think about what that means. When you can access other people's experiences and results, you can learn from their experiences. You can learn from their mistakes and learn what worked well for them so that you can avoid making the same mistakes and can do it right the first time. There is still more. Imagine receiving information and guidance and help from a higher power. We call it higher intelligence. Other people call it God or Allah or Jehovah or the Almighty or many other names. This higher intelligence is vast enough and great enough to help everyone who is solving problems and making the world a better place to live. Imagine presenting your proposal and knowing that this higher power is working through you to help persuade people to follow your lead. More Benefits of Using the Alpha Level There are many more benefits of learning to use the subconscious consciously. Here are ten of them. 1. The Alpha Level leads to better health by strengthening your immune system, so it's like having free health insurance, the kind that protects you from developing health problems. 2. It is the strongest part of the brain, with the most synchronous and most stable brain frequency, so you can do a better job of analyzing information and making decisions. 3. You will be safer from accidents because your mind will automatically use ESP to detect oncoming danger and automatically guide you to the right action to avoid it. You'll learn how to develop your ESP in Chapter 3. 4. You will be luckier because your ESP will automatically make you aware of opportunities that 90% of people won't know about because they haven't learned to use the subconscious consciously. 5. You will be more persuasive because your mind will communicate directly with the people you are trying to persuade. 6. You will be fresher and more alert. 15 minutes of time at Alpha give you as much benefit as one hour of sleep. Look at what that means for the bottom line. Invest 20 minutes at Alpha and gain an additional 40 minutes of time at work or play or whatever you like. That is a pretty good return on investment, isn't it? 7. You can also use the Alpha level to help you overcome bad habits, like drinking too much or drug addiction. You can also use the Alpha level to start beneficial new habits that will help you achieve the business success you desire. 8. Alpha is the level for creativity. That you say you are a manager, not a creative person, so why do you need to develop your creative side? Here's why. When the solutions you are using aren't producing the results you need, you need new solutions. That's where your creative side comes in. The creative alpha level. Need more revenue? Use the alpha level to help you find a new service or product. Problems with an employee? Use the alpha level. Problems obtaining materials you need at a price that will allow you to make a profit? Then head to Alpha for creative solutions. 9. Alpha will help you to balance work and family in the midst of demanding job requirements. All work and no play can be bad for your health and productivity. So at Alpha, you might realize that you will benefit by learning to play better golf or improve your skill at any other activity. Research has shown that practicing a skill mentally at the Alpha level brings almost as much improvement as practicing physically. And finally, 10. You can also use this inner conscious level to go back in time, subjectively, and rewrite your personal history. If you had bad experiences that affected your belief in your abilities to achieve greatness, you can neutralize those beliefs by impressing new ones at the same level, 
in the same part of the brain where those old childhood beliefs are stored. The first step is to find the alpha level and learn to function there with conscious awareness. This will allow you to use the subconscious consciously. In other words, you convert the subconscious into the inner conscious level. It all begins with alpha. First, you will learn to function at the alpha level with your eyes closed, because any time you attempt to use your physical eyesight, your brain will adjust to the beta brainwave frequency. Later in Chapter 8, we will teach you how to function with your eyes open and still get the full benefits of alpha functioning. First, though, we want you to learn to function at the alpha level with your eyes closed and verify that you are doing it. As a business person, you know how important it is to evaluate results and measure their impact on the bottom line. This is what leads to recognition, raises, bonuses, and promotions to higher and more responsible positions. It's easy to measure the results you achieve by using the alpha level. When you're able to solve problems that you couldn't solve at the beta level, then you know you are getting a good return on your investment. That is exactly what happened to a Silva graduate in Maryland. Here is his story. Stubborn problem yields quickly to alpha thinking. L. J. of Maryland discovered the power of alpha thinking shortly after starting his first job. I was right out of college, he recalled. I had taken the first engineering job that I could find, it involved troubleshooting control boards for a missile control system. He wasn't sure that he wanted to do this kind of work, and he didn't seem to be very well suited to it. One day, a board came my way, and for the longest time, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, he said. I gave it my best shot. My emotions raised when I started to realize that this was not my calling. Then he remembered his silver training and decided to see if he could use the power of the alpha level to find the problem. I managed to relax enough to get to the alpha level and let the answer come to me as a mental picture. He used mental pictures to compare the circuit the way it was to the way it should be, and he noticed that one area stood out. I came out of level, used my voltmeter, ohm meter, and indeed, the problem was there. That success had far-reaching consequences for LJ. This experience not only helped me keep my job, but led me to realize that I needed to find another position, which I did within the same company. I even ended up disclosing a patent in the new job. LJ benefited. So did his employer, and so did the person who was hired to fill the job that LJ didn't like after he moved into his new position within the company. Relaxation leads to Alpha. The Silva system is not book learning. It is subjective experiencing. It is just like learning any other skill. You must practice to develop expertise and gain the confidence that will let you excel. When you become passive and relaxed physically and mentally, your brain frequency slows down. This happens when you go to sleep at night. It happens when you are relaxed and daydreaming. But if you haven't learned to stay at alpha when you activate your mind, then your brain frequency will increase whenever you become mentally or physically active. After you learn to enter the alpha level, then you can learn to activate your mind and remain at the alpha level by practicing a series of mental calisthenics that Jose Silva developed during his 22 years of scientific research. He was the first scientist to discover how to do this, and his groundbreaking research was published in the medical journal Neuropsychology in 1972. All of our techniques are designed to work at the alpha level. However, once you learn, you will not need to go through the centering exercise to get to alpha. You won't even need to close your eyes. You will be able to have alpha functioning with your eyes open as long as you don't focus and concentrate your eyesight on anything. We'll explain that a little later in this book. Do not skip any steps. The first time you take this training, please be sure to do everything in the order that we present it. First, you need to find the alpha level by using the Silva centering exercise and following the instructions. Then, there are five mental projection exercises that are the key to learning this new subjective communication system. Please do them in the order that we present them, 
because each one builds on what you learned in the previous ones. We will do the Silva centering exercise before each of the mental projection conditioning cycles in order to deepen your level even more. Here is the order. 1. Silva centering exercise, projection to home. 2. Silva centering exercise, projection into inanimate matter kingdom. 3. Silva centering exercise, projection into plant life kingdom. 4. Silva centering exercise, projection into animate matter kingdom. And finally, 5. Silva centering exercise, projection into human kingdom. Now, here is co-author Ed Burned Jr., a longtime Silva instructor who worked with Jose Silva at his world headquarters in Laredo for 17 years, to guide you through your first centering exercise. If you want to know exactly what is included in the Silva centering exercise, you can listen to it with your eyes open first, at the beta level. When you do this centering exercise, assume a comfortable position. A sitting position is preferred, but the most important thing is to make sure that you are comfortable. Let your body do what it wants to do. If you are uncomfortable, you will not relax as much and will not get as much benefit from the exercise. Avoid distractions, such as loud outside noises. Turn off your cell phone. Remember that if at any time you feel uncomfortable, readjust your position to make yourself more comfortable. If you feel you must open your eyes for any reason, then open your eyes and make yourself comfortable. If you open your eyes, then go back to the beginning of the recording and start over. Anytime you desire to relax, mentally or verbally repeat the word, Relax, and you will relax physically and mentally. It's very simple to learn to function at your center. We're going to associate numbers with different states. Number three, with physical relaxation. So anytime you mentally repeat and visualize number three, you can relax your body. Number two, with mental relaxation. Anytime you mentally repeat and visualize number two, you can relax your mind. And that'll take you right to alpha. So we'll associate number one with being at alpha. So anytime you want to use the three, two, one, you'll do it three, 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 two, 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 one, one, one. Relax your body, relax your mind. You'll be at alpha. It's just that quick to get to alpha. And as you practice, you'll learn to get there without even using the ritual. For now, we use the ritual. So we'll ask you to mentally repeat and visualize the number three several times and relax your body and we'll help you. We'll go down the body from head to feet and back up from feet to the uh, shoulders. And we'll say something like this. We'll say, concentrate your sense of awareness on your scalp, the skin that covers your head. You will detect a fine vibration, a tingling sensation, a feeling of warmth caused by circulation, circulation of blood, of course. So imagine that. You can kind of make it happen. And we'll say, release and completely relax all tensions and ligament pressure from this part of your head and place it in a deep state of relaxation that will grow deeper and deeper as we continue. Relax completely. Don't hold anything back. Just let it go. Then we'll do the same with the forehead. Concentrate your sense of awareness on your forehead. We'll go down to the eyelids, the tissues that surround your eyes, your face. It's the skin that covers your cheeks. The outer portion of your throat, the skin covering your throat area. We'll even relax within the throat area. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest. Then it'll ask you to relax within the chest area. Relax all organs. Relax all glands. Relax all tissues, including the cells themselves, and cause them to function in a rhythmic and healthy manner. Same with the abdomen. Your desire will make it happen. Everything in your body will start functioning normally, will move towards normal, healthy functioning as you practice this exercise. Your thighs, and your knees, your calves, your feet, your toes, the soles of your feet, the heels of your feet. And we'll come back up the body and kind of desensitize it. We'll say cause your feet to feel as though they do not belong to your body. Your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, thighs, waist, shoulders, arms, and hands. And we'll reinforce this as level three for physical relaxation. Then level two for mental relaxation. How do you do that? Visualize tranquil and passive scenes. Day at the beach. Imagine being at the beach, looking out at the ocean. A day out fishing. Drop your line in. Pretend you're fishing. 
a walk through the woods, get totally involved. Notice the trees, the flowers, feel the breeze, look at the clouds, listen to the birds. And we'll reinforce, that's level two, where noises will not distract you, noises will help you to relax more and more. And then, Take a deep breath while exhaling. Mentally repeat and visualize number one several times. You're now at level one where you can function at your center. Ten cycles alpha, the center of the brain frequency range where you can function there with conscious awareness. One of the things that we'll do after we get to level one, I'll ask you to project yourself mentally to your ideal place of relaxation. This can be any place you want to go. Project yourself there. Take yourself there mentally. I will say to you, when you next hear my voice, one hour of time will have elapsed at this level of mind. Now, that's not going to be one hour of time on the clock. Because remember, mentally, there's no time or space. So we'll get the effect of having been at this ideal place of relaxation for an hour when it's really nowhere near that long. It's not even a minute. Not even a minute. Then we'll repeat a number of statements, some positive beneficial statements. Positive thoughts bring me benefits and advantages I desire. My increasing mental faculties are for serving humanity better. That includes you, by the way. You're you're part of it. (laughs) You're, You're part of humanity, so help yourself and others. We'll have rapport statements. You'll continue to listen to my voice, follow the instructions at this level of the mind and any other level, meaning the instructions apply even at the outer level of consciousness. Then we'll do post-effects. You may use these levels to help yourself, your loved ones, anyone who needs help, physically and mentally. You'll never use them to harm anybody. You can't anyway. They can't be used to harm. You cannot project your mind at a distance and harm anybody. You know, you can't call somebody up on the telephone and give them a black eye. Doesn't happen. <laughs> it happen. You have to have physical force to do that. And then we'll do the bring out. We'll count from one to five and out in perfect health, feeling like you've had a Just exactly the right amount of sleep. This one exercise is worth half a million dollars. That's what it cost Jose Silva to develop it over a 22-year period. Are you ready for your half million dollars? Ready for me to give you something that's worth half a million dollars? We'll do it right now, if you like. 